Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys for coming through, clicking on the video. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to do a love reading. This is going to be a love reading. See what's going on in your love life. For those of you who are interested in love, this is a love reading, okay, specifically. If you're not interested in love, then you may want to go ahead and click off of the video. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. Holy Spirit, God, angels, ancestors, spirit, God, spirit, team, the highest white light. Please be with me and guide me through these messages for my Libras at this time. Please protect me as I channel the messages and let no weapon formed against us. Amen. All right. So I'm hearing what's your love language? What's your love language, Libra? I feel like for someone, some of you specifically, for someone, you may be uh, meeting someone new or interacting, you know, with a new person. Um, and you know how you have those very first conversations, you know, the basics. It's like that one of the you're discussing your love language with someone. Um, also. Uh, if you're dealing with someone, it may be important or maybe time for you guys to maybe discuss your love language or if you feel like any needs are not getting met with your partner um, and things like that. I'm hearing like minor issues, minor things, minor problems that you need to like discuss if, if certain needs are getting met, if your love language isn't being fulfilled or recognized, um, like having that talk with your person. Okay. All right. So for Libra, what's going on with Libra in love? What's going on with Libras in love, love relationships? What is going on, spirit? gonna get one card for here what's the overall energy for libra's love life right now what's the overall energy for libra's love life right now the ones that this message is for this one these did i take all of these yes no okay we're gonna take those so <laughs> single unexpected and Signs and synchronicities. So I feel like this is a message for my single Libras, okay? Or newly single. Or if you're just like dating, okay? Maybe you're friends with someone, friends with benefits. There could be a friend that has a crush on someone here, some of you, or you are you crushing on a friend. I also hearing a coworker. A coworker likes your family member or or something like that. Or you like a coworker's family member or something. You may meet somebody through like a coworker. I don't know. Okay. Maybe like their brother or cousin or something. Okay, for somebody, aunt or uncle, you know, I don't know, but um, okay, so there's something, there's gonna be something unexpected here, like uh, unexpected communication, some type of surprise. You're gonna see something. You may be shocked to see that someone is single or to find out that someone is single. You may come across this on like social media. Maybe this person was in a long-term commitment relationship. Maybe they were married and maybe they, you know, post that they're single or something like that. Um, hmm. So uh, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Two, two, two could be significant. Pay attention to the signs. You're gonna be, you're gonna see something that's going to shock you, okay? And it, it looks like it's going to be a sign or it's a message or some type of hint from the universe. So you need to pay special attention to it. Um, somebody could drive a silver BMW. Somebody could drive um, the letter B could be significant. The letters H or M, somebody's first, last or middle initial. The letters M or G you could be seeing 222. 2228 could be significant. Look up that angel number. Okay. Um. 
tell me what mm, clarify signs and synchronicities. Clarify signs and synchronicities. Oh wow. Somebody's gonna confess that they have feelings for you. Look at that. I told you it's a new person, new love and truth. So I feel like somebody confessing that they want to be with you, that they have this new, in, you know, this um, these feelings for you or vice versa. They're scared, though, with the fear on the bottom. They're scared um, of this person may have been in a toxic relationship. They regret. Yeah, this ex that they were dealing with or whatever. They were in a toxic relationship with this person. And they're scared of getting back into something, jumping back into something. Or this could be you. Take the energies how they resonate. Flip it if you need to. Um, this could be you not wanting to get back into something, want something new because you don't want things to be toxic because that's what you dealt with before. But if somebody was married, I definitely see um, toxicity in that situation. Okay. So, yeah, you may be finding out that this person is ready to date again. Um, somebody's going to tell you that they moved on from a situation or um, it, I, I like it. I, I like it. What's the unexpected here? Why is it here? That's unexpected. Divine intervention. This is something that's supposed to happen. Yeah, this is going to be a big something. Oh, I don't like that. Give me one more for unexpected. <clears throat> okay, so this person, someone could be hiding the fact that they are um, going through some like financial issues. Somebody may have like some type of addictions here maybe like i don't know i feel like somebody is going through it financially somebody spends a lot of their money maybe on liquor um or whatever their vice is whatever their thing is right um i also feel like there's going to be like a revelation, like a serious conversation that you're going to have with someone and this person is going to be nervous so they may have to have a few drinks or you guys may talk about this over drinks okay um, but i feel like this is all in an effort to boost this person's confidence so that they can say whatever it is that they need to say to you okay that's what i'm feeling here for some of y'all somebody wants a reconciliation uh, yeah <laughs> why single try if i single single please oh my gosh this player player energy <sighs> I wonder why they have me working backwards like this I hope nobody is going backwards like because this is starting to feel like a past situation like a past person someone that you may know that may be coming around to confess their yeah, somebody that could have, like, ghosted you, secretly crushing on you. Mm. Yeah, and they got feelings for you now. Because <laughs> you're single, and I feel like this energy, whoever this player energy is, whatever this is, this person is coming in to test you. But it does feel like two energies this player energy could be the past energy this new person is definitely in the future position so um i just gotta say it this could be this person turning over a new leaf healed and things like that and now they're coming in to confess their love and their emotions and things like that they have went through a healing process they've been through the dark night of the soul they've had a spiritual awakening so to speak and you know now they're ready to confess and tell you the truth of how they feel okay for some of you this is there's a past person here and a new person here you could be tempted to deal with this past person um, maybe you've been waiting on them. Maybe you feel like they're your person, your soulmate, twin flame, whatever. And you, um, 
you know, this person comes back into your life at a time where you're kind of seeking that, like you're asking, maybe you manifested or prayed for specifically this person or for, you know, your person. And this person could come back as a test to see if you're really ready for the real thing, if you can really recognize karmic energies and if you can rec really recognize what's not good for you, what's not beneficial for you and who you don't need to be with so that you can clear that energy and make way for this new energy, okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, real quick, I just want to get the energy of this player energy music could be significant somebody may play like an instrument a guitar um something like that okay somebody likes adidas i'm hearing rocket rocking adidas adidas okay this player is played out so this was like somebody that uh, ran the streets, did what they had to do, put you on the back burner, and, and now coming back around to, you know, to claim you or to, mm, y'all know how the story goes, okay? I don't got to tell y'all. Tell me about this uh, player energy Happiness hater, hating on your happiness. You could be with, you could be dealing with somebody else. This could even be this new love in your life. This you got a uh, energy here that's hating on your happiness. Watch on the outside looking in. Look at the three people. Look at the happy couple right here and the hating ass person right here. Okay, that's who this player energy is. They hating on your happiness. Yeah, they want to um, come back and, and kind of have another chance here. This person, I feel like they're just... They're just coming in to like feed off of your energy. I don't like it. Move in silence. Black card could be significant. Yeah, they want to they wanna rekindle something. This um, player person, player energy. They want to rekindle something. Let me see what I can pick up on about this love what's the tea with this new love energy this might not be the deck i need to use but let's see what's the tea with this new love okay so this new person they may not have a car okay or they may um be having they may have like car issues i'm hearing like a lemon a bucket okay Okay, this person could be a business owner, entrepreneur, CEO. Maybe they just, maybe they're starting their own business or they just started their own business. This person could wear glasses. They could have brown hair. Ooh, okay, dang. Okay. So what I'm getting about this new energy this new person it feels like this is someone that fakes the funk you know what i'm saying like this is someone that you know is how they say smiling on the outside but crying on the inside or something like that it's like they have to force themselves to be happy look happy things like that because of whatever it is that they gone through or been through or something like that but i feel like they have a lot of like ambition you got jackpot out here you got ceo you know business entrepreneur and then you got the jackpot out here winning money got got rich so they may be going through some like financial issues but it looks like that's gonna change when i don't know but it looks like they're going to change. I don't know why this grudge holder card is out here. Let me see. They may be somebody that can hold a grudge. <laughs> they may be somebody that can hold a grudge. And you got somebody over here that's holding on. Can't let you go. Why is grudge holder here for this new person? 
So they may have like some little anger issues or something. Not like anger issues, but you know how people just, I don't know. The letter C or D could be significant. So I will tell you now that this is someone that is not interested in um, kissing nobody's ass. They are not. <laughs> they might be a little possessive, you know. I, I, it could be a little possessive. Um, as in they don't play about you. They're, oh, okay. This is a third. This is another energy. Okay. So this is someone else, either an ex or people in their life that they are somebody that they're not interested in. And this person is the one that's holding a grudge. Okay. Or these people. Because they expected this, they expect this person to. You know, walk back into to their life, let them back in, kiss their ass, or they trying to kiss this person's ass. Somebody is watching and stalking this person or constantly, you know, trying to keep up with this person, social media, things like that. Yeah, they got an ex here or somebody around them or in their past that's holding a grudge because they're no longer interested in them. So, yeah, be mindful of that. I did just see that third party card over there. So that's what that is. Okay. All right. What else? Um. What is this unexpected energy? Let's see. Let me get another deck. Ow. I'm hearing green lights. that song give me the green light give me just one night ready to go right now okay Ooh. yeah somebody is ready to go right now maybe they want to come in and do it to you okay i don't like it don't like their energy Okay, what's this unexpected energy about? Okay, the full card. Fresh start, new beginning, taking a leap of faith. Tell me more. Okay, the lovers. And the seven of pentacles. Okay. So it looks like someone, someone is going to have a choice here. Somebody's going to be left out in the cold. Somebody's going to be turned down. So somebody's going to have a choice here. This could be you of how you want to proceed. And I'm glad that lover's card came out because it talks about a choice in love. And it's right smack dab in the middle of the old person and the new person. So that's confirmation for me that there is like this two energies here. Okay. Somebody over here, an ex of yours. There's an, they got it. They even got like exes and people over here that's holding grudges against them because they don't want to be with them you got somebody over here that's hating on your happiness thinking that they're gonna come in and you know pick up where they left off or try to dust shit off with you and start again and right here it's like in the middle you just it's like you have i hear i'm hearing change you have um a choice or decision to make okay um about where you want to invest your time money energy love and things like that so, yeah, who you want to be in a relationship with and who you want to let go of. So, definitely seeing that energy. Six of Pentacles. I mean, mm, Six of Cups. Past energy. Yeah, I feel like you're blocking off this past energy, so I'm not going to spend no more time on them. I, but um, just know that that energy is here. Okay. All right. Final messages for Libra. Um, messages for Libra and love and relationship spirits. What's going on here? Um, messages. Okay, you have Phoenix. Okay. I just said something about change and it says changed mind. So yeah, I feel like wh whoever this new person is, I don't know. I feel like you're just changing your mind about what you want, okay? I feel like you're growing. You're ready for something new. You've been through a change and a rebirth and a growth. And now, it's, you're kind of like adjusting 
the things that you want, what you thought you wanted are no longer the things that you want, okay? Who you thought you wanted is no longer who you want. So I feel like growth, very good. I like that. Final messages. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got two snakes. See? Mm -mm. Yeah, and remember I just said, you, yo, you got an ex lingering over here. <laughs> and your person has somebody else that's holding a grudge too. And there's two, two snake cards popping up, child. You got a girl with a snake and you got the snake. And that's just confirming what I just said. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Spirit. Both of y'all got some. I'm not going to dig into them negative energies because they don't matter. Let's pull some letters for you. All right. So the letter P. Either N or Z. I can't tell what that is. Okay, so P, N, Z, F, T, O, somebody's first, last, or middle initials. Take it how it resonates. I'm here. I'm seeing ton. I'm also hearing torn. I'm hearing that song, Torn Between the Two. Something about a pot, a pond, something about a foot or the front, like front door. Okay, the number eight could be significant. August could be significant. Leo could be significant. Um, four, 48, 84. The next 48 hours could be significant. Okay, so I'm going to do a next 48 hour read. And we have Virgo. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave that here. I hope it helped. If you need anything, uh, if you guys want to book a reading or know any more information about me, the information is in the description box below. If you guys would like to purchase Forever Roses and get $20 off, the link below is in the description box. And you guys can use my code to get $20 off of your Forever Rose purchase. Okay. Um, and also, um, if you're interested in, if you like bracelets, intention items, intention bracelets, I have a link in there for Outer Spirit where you guys can um, use my link to purchase those. And a dollar of your proceeds of every bracelet purchase goes to helping and saving otters. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it here. See y'all later. Bye.